Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to recreating Iman Gaji's 3D Compass animation in a light motion. 3D Compass animation is very easy guys, but the remaining animation is little difficult to recreate. But don't worry, I will make it easier for you. I divided this animation in two parts. The first part we will learn about the 3D Compass animation, and the remaining animation we will learn in the second part. I worked very hard for this animation guys. Please show some support by becoming member of this channel, or you can use the thanks button, at least like the video and share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Okay friends, let's make it. Here I have already added this image. We will use this image as texture. Select this layer, go to effects, and apply the ring effect. You can find this effect in 3D section. Now if you want to adjust the rotation of the element, simply play with the orientation and the rotation values. Let's adjust the length of the element. Also adjust the width if needed. Let's play with the scale. Now smooth the edges of the element by adjusting the smoothing slider. Let's adjust the scale a little bit. Let's increase the length a little bit. Now keep the orientation alpha value to negative 21 degrees. Now duplicate this layer. Go to effects and delete the ring effect. Now apply the torus effect. You can also find this effect in 3D section. Let's play with these values. Let's adjust the width of this element. Now decrease the scale of this element. Now keep the orientation alpha value to negative 21 degrees. Drag it down. Let's adjust the position of this layer. Let me make more adjustments to this element. Now duplicate this layer. Bring it to top. Let's adjust this element size, position, and the width. Now add this image. Drag it down. Now apply the flip layer effect. You can find this effect in 3D section. Now change the axis value to 90 degrees. Now adjust the angle value. Let's adjust the scale. Now position it to center of the elements. Now we need to change the background color because we are adding black elements next. Let's add the indicator icon. Now we need to change the pivot point position to the center of the indicator. This will help us to rotate the indicator from the center. Now add the rotation keyframe at the first frame of this layer. Move to last frame and adjust the rotation. At this frame, let's keep it something like this. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now select this layer and make it as a group layer. Now apply the flip layer effect. You can find this effect in 3D section. Now change the axis value to 90 degrees. Now adjust the angle value. Let's keep it here. Now add a rectangle shape. Select any darker color to this shape. Now apply the torus effect. You can also find this effect in 3D section. Now add a mark at the first frame. Move 1.15 seconds forward and add another mark. Now select the fourth layer and go to effects. Add the orientation keyframe at the first mark. 
Now at the second mark, change the orientation alpha value to negative 90 degrees. Now make this animation faster to slower. Now select the fifth layer and go to effects. Create the same flip animation to this layer. As you can see, this layer position is not matching to fourth layer. Let's fix it by creating position keyframes. Add two position keyframes at this two marks. Now at the second mark, reposition it to the center. Now make this animation faster to slower. Now create the same flip animation and the position animation to this layer. Now select the last layer and go to effects. Now add the angle keyframe here. Now at second mark, change the angle value to zero degrees. Now make this animation faster to slower. Let's create the position animation. Now animate the indicator layer. Now place the indicator center of the compass. Adjust the scale if needed. Let's create scale animation to the indicator layer. Now we have something like this. Let's keep this object here. Keep the orientation alpha value to negative 21 degrees. Create the orientation animation that we already created to ring layer and other torus layer. Now create the position animation. Now adjust the scale. Now add a rectangle shape. Select any darker color to this shape. Go to Effects and apply the Spherize effect. You can find this effect in 3D section. No need to create orientation animation to this object. Let's create scale animation to this layer. Now create the position animation. Now add a circle shape for the glass. Change the shape color to blue. Now adjust the scale as shown. Now enable the stroke and change the stroke color to white. Now decrease the opacity of this layer to 20%. 
Now copy the flip layer effect from the indicator layer. Paste it on this layer. Now create the position animation to this layer as shown. Thank you for watching the video guys. The remaining animation will be covered in future videos. Please like the video, subscribe for more content like this, and comment below on whose editing you would like to recreate next.